Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Well, it's back to the Apple Watch this week, and time to take a look at a couple of the core features of the Apple Watch, namely activity and health. The Apple Watch contains many sensors such as the heart rate monitor, accelerometer and gyroscope and these enable the Apple Watch to closely monitor your activity level and store the data for use by the health and activity apps on the iPhone. Now I'm going to use the same Apple Watch as previous shows to demonstrate these apps but rather than the demo setup I've used in the past I'll show my personal setup to illustrate some of the data it's been collecting over the past few weeks. Now most watch faces on the Apple Watch do have access to what's called the activity rings. If you select a, a watch face that doesn't, you can actually set up a glance for the activity rings. But on this one here, if I just tap up in the top corner, these are the three activity rings for today. Now um, I'll explain them in detail. Uh, you can actually scroll as well to have a look at active calories, total steps and the total distance travelled in any one day. But the three rings are in red move. Um, that counts your movement during the day. The green one is exercise, but only sort of uh, energetic exercise. Uh, I've discovered that just simply walking won't actually move that at all. You have to get your heartbeat elevated. Uh, let's go back in. And then the blue is to stand up. And you can actually uh, configure it, or by default it's configured so that it will prompt you to stand up for at least a minute in every hour of the day. You can switch that off in the settings. So I'll swipe across. So this is our move target. So currently 50 out of 350 calories achieved as of today or as of this time today. Uh, you can change this. If I do a force press, I can now change my move goal. And I will cancel. I can scroll this as well to get a chart of where the calories were actually used up during my movement. Swipe across. This is my uh, exercise. And as you can see, I've done no exercise today. Although, to be fair, I have been fairly active, but uh, I haven't got my heartbeat over the average. And then if I go across, all right, this is my stand target. So I've achieved four out of 12 hours. And again, I can scroll up to have a look at that and down again. So I'm just tap the digital crown to go back to the watch face. OK, let's take a look at the uh, activity app across on the iPhone. So this is my iPhone 6, my iPhone 6 Plus, and down at the bottom you can see I have this activity uh, icon. Uh, this is an application, I think it gets installed at the same time as the Apple Watch app, but actually doesn't become active until you uh, pair a watch with the device. But let's go in, you'll see it's got the uh, concentric rings, if I tap in here. Right, this takes us through to today, and the data from the watch has been synchronized across to my iPhone. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day no-obligation free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. 